Okay, welcome to Redmond Minerals. My name's Aaron Ellison. Uh, come out of Redmond, Utah. And to get right to the point, I think a lot of people have heard about Redmond products, but one of the things, probably the thing to tell you is uh, what really sets us apart from the world. This Redmond salt, which most people affectionately know it as, is uh, an ancient sea deposit. And most salt mines are, but what makes this extremely unique is this is not just white salt. By nature, the sea has many minerals in it. There's over 60 naturally occurring trace minerals in this deposit out there. And most salt deposits, uh, most of the minerals leach away. The mineral concentration isn't merely uh, as big as, as it is in this product. So that's kind of what sets it apart. We don't strip any of those out. There's more money to be made in selling the other minerals in different forms and, and the salt, the salt, sodium chloride becomes a byproduct. We don't do that. We leave it in its natural form because there's many natural benefits that happen because of that. It's also known as sea salt and in the, in the, in the uh, food industry, sea salt's the national leader in, the, in taste and in, in function there. So, uh, so we've got this one product that's, that's basically, you have one product and we've got it in different forms that you sell, we bo in both the blocks and in, in the granular form, yes. both. Um, yes. Let's touch a little bit on that. Uh, let, let's okay. talk about the blocks. Now they're available in different sizes under a couple different labels. So let's, uh, let's first tell, the, uh, tell our dealers uh, some things that they may not be seeing. You bet. The, the concept, the reason I went and what I did at first is because that concept is general in any biological system. I mean that, the benefits of a natural mineralized salt, the balance and proportion of minerals is what makes it so, is so key and what makes it work in biology. In your product catalog here, uh, this breaks out what you're asking about. We have taken this salt in a crushed form, in a granular form. Uh, Cisco buys a lot of number 10 fine, for example, in the 50 pound bag. This brochure will line out what the floor stock items are. We press that into a block as well. And these are totally natural products. There's no added anything in them unless somebody wants us to put more minerals or something like that. They're approved for organic use for those who need that. And so there are several blends of mineral combinations we can press into a block as well. I know a lot of the area up here, people need some extra selenium. So it's uh, Cisco buys a lot of selenium added products in here. This brochure also outlines the Redmond conditioner. Now, Redmond conditioner <coughs> is a montmorillonite clay. It's part of the overburden of this salt mine. And it's uh, the reason you can't replace the salt with it is because there's only a couple of percentage points of salt in that. It will not replace the salt. But as a clay, it has different functions. The mineral concentrations are heavier than the salt. Uh, like calcium, for example, you've got a little bit in in the salt, but you have quite a bit more in the conditioner. Uh, the, the, the the horse conditioner is becoming quite popular up in the uh, northern Indiana area. And, uh, if you're not using it currently, you need to be looking at it. There's been a lot of the uh, horse owners that have really started accepting the that. Use conditioner. Yeah, the use yeah. conditioner. Well, it's this this lower corner of this brochure. Uh, we feature the rock in its natural form for the horses. Uh, also, there's trophy rock, of course, that's the natural rock form for the deer market. New to you guys today is the crushed salt. We call it the Daily Red, is its name, in a, in a five-pound jar that can be scooped out if, if horse owners like to throw it into the grain or mixes. The Daily Red Plus has that conditioner in it for the horse people, so it can be purchased whether in a 50 pound bag or some people like a smaller container they can uh, and this is about a 30 percent blend in with the salt the combination is actually an awesome product and that's about the ratio that i feed at home and that we've found to be pretty successful about a 70 30 blend it gives a uh, a nice touch to the hooves a nice touch to the hair coat makes them shiny helps them utilize their feed they just do really well on that on the back of this brochure then it's all the real salt products, the food grade. And Cisco buys a lot of the refillable pouches and shakers and the 25 pound bags. But there's the seasonings, anything on here. So this is a nice brochure for any dealer to have that highlights all of the 
Redmond Agricultural products, including the horse products. Now, can they see most of these products from, from a website? You can. Uh, RedmondNatural.com and this new, uh, this new Redmond Rock, we've made its own website because a lot of that market isn't related to ag, and that's RedmondRock.com. And yes, you can go there. This product we're pretty excited about. This one is, is gaining a lot of traction very quickly. And that's what this natural rock is. This is just a sample size, but these are being sold between 7 and 10 pounds, 12 pounds, 7 and 12 pounds. Uh, they're going to retail for $11.99 or higher. Uh, there's good margin potential for every dealer with this product, excellent margin potential, in fact. And the thing that makes this successful is to just get it into the hands of the horse owner. Let him try it. The horse will love it, just like any animal loves it. Uh, that's the. Well, uh, okay, go ahead and finish up your point, and then we'll talk a little bit on the trophy rock because there were a couple changes kay. in trophy rock within the last year, but uh, we want to make sure everybody aware of that. Oh, we can hit that right now. Trophy rock, <coughs> in an effort to to keep more of the market and have the product available, we went from just a 16 pound rock to two sizes. So trophy rock has a a 12 pound rock and a 20 pound rock. And then this Redmond rock catches the lower end, so the 7 to 12. So now we're able to utilize more of the rocks in our system. And then Trophy Rock, like Redmond Rock, has the wholesale minimums and the retail minimums. But there's the two sizes now. A half crate of Trophy Rock will have, uh, I believe it's 35 rocks. And a, of uh, the 20 pounders and the 12 pounders, I think there are 60. Okay. And half there, are, there are display crates available, and uh, yep. Yep. they will be at the show to for you to look at. Um, now, on the, uh, the the horse rock itself, it's a little bit different because it's not individually packaged. Is that That's is that right. correct? Yeah. So it will be just like this, only bigger. This yeah. is just a one pound sample that we hand people. They're similar in in presentation to Trophy Rock in that they come out in these cardboard crates. These wood pallets, these wood crates are also available for marketing, really sharp. People really enjoy having those. And the whole trick to this is to set these in a position on the floor where there's high visibility and traffic. And where they sit, people just grab those and take them. But yes, they are not wrapped individually. It's anticipated that because the horse business is a year round business, anyone who can sell five or 10 rocks will sell 40 and that's the smallest crate available. You can also get 90 Redmond Rocks in a bigger crate if you want to buy one of those a little bit better price point and use that to refill a wooden crate for example. On those crates comes a, a packet of teared look tabs. The customer can pull this off and take to the counter with the UPC on it. Uh, the counter might just have one of these anyway to make it easier in case a customer doesn't bring one up. Every, every pallet also comes out with a brochure to briefly explain the difference in the product and what sets it apart from the world, which we've covered a little bit. Uh, so a little bit about the, the product that way. But again, the biggest trick on whether it's Trophy Rock or Redmond Rock is just put it to the animals. The animals prefer it. They just, they love it. I've got to show you. And it does contain gold, doesn't it? Isn't there a trace amount of gold in that? You know, there probably is in a lot of the samples, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to own some gold, get a trophy rock. That's right. Here's just a picture of the portal. Some people like to see that. It's pretty close to the surface out there. There's not a lot of overburden. And we tunnel to get this. It's like a solid mountain of, of this mineralized salt. It's kind of neat to, to see and look at. But I wanted to show you this. This is, this is what I'm talking about. In this picture, you have a little test we did here right close to our plant where we had a, this is a press block now, uh, just a straight, plain Redmond salt block. And these are the varieties from white salt to iodized and trace mineral that you can buy at any feed store USA. And three weeks later, this is what's left of the straight Redmond block. And now they've begun to more utilize the the other one so it's pretty common that again you just put this to the animals they'll show you what they like that balance and proportion of naturally occurring minerals 
again, can't emphasize enough how that is, is what sets this apart. And animals like that, they seek that. There's trace nutrition in there that they're not getting in any other way. Well, let's go over days. that, uh, let's go over the website again. Let's give the, the people okay. the websites to go to. You've got uh, redmondrock.com for the equine product. You've got trophyrock.com for trophy rock. And you've got redmondnatural.com for the agricultural product line. So if they got any other questions, they can stop by the booth at the show and take care of them. But uh, you bet it's you. been a, a good moving uh, line that's a little bit different. And it's just not your everyday, ordinary salt. That's right. Okay. Thank you very much. How's that?